To solve this absolute value problem, you really need to recognize that if I have an absolute value of x equal to 7, then x has two numbers. There's a positive 7 and a negative 7. So what I tell my students, when you see those two bars, think of the word shadow. Okay, so there's a shadow, there's a u, there's also a shadow. Absolute value means there's a shadow. So for this particular problem, what we need to do is set it up so that there's a shadow 1, okay, and then there's a shadow 2. you got to have this one. Uh, it's either this or this, but you have to have two of them. Okay, so let's solve this one first. So this one is easy. You move x over, you have x equal to 4. Okay, so the biggest part and the most important part is to set it up right. This one is you have 3x equal to 4 or x equal to 4 over 3. So when you see absolute value, make sure you have shadows and you should have two answers. All right, hope this helps and have a confident day.